Hey you guys, it's Sheena. Welcome to my channel, Sheen Bala. This is normally a place where I do makeup and talk about makeup and things about makeup, but today's video is not about makeup. It is about something that uh, I've been doing for the last 120 days. So if you uh, want to hear all about it, I'll be more than happy to share. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and here we go. So in the last 120 days, I have lost about 43 pounds, 44 pounds. And I'm gonna tell you guys all about how I have been able to accomplish that. Um, back in January, you know, you sit down and you write your goals for the year and you say, you know, I wanna be healthier, I wanna lose some weight. And I had a friend, well, we're still friends. <laughs> I have a friend who has been going to this gym and I saw a big change in his body and in, even in his mindset. And I think his mindset is really what um, caught me. Like that was the bait that reeled me in. So I went to an interest meeting at the gym and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I signed up. And the next day I went to the workout and it was like no workout I had ever done before. <laughs> I am prior military. I spent some years in the Air Force. Um, I've done various sports in my past. I played roller derby, I played volleyball, I played, uh, I ran track. Um, there have just been different things that I've done like physically that have uh, helped my endurance and stamina over the years but this it, it really pushed me right from the beginning and I love a challenge so I stuck with it and I continued to stick with it over the course of the first uh, 30 days I dropped probably uh, I want to say close to 15 to 20 pounds and I have continued to lose weight every single week since the challenge started back January 5th We've gone through one 90 day challenge and I'm on my second 90 day challenge. So what have I been doing? Um, it's uh, The gym name is called AWOL Fitness. I have promoted some of the um, clothing. If you've watched some of my other videos, you see the Lady A stuff that I have, fashion and fitness, and then some of the logos for Lady A and that's all a part of the gym that I go to. And um, so you get um, you know, we went to this interest meeting and we talk about different things, but the thing that stuck with me the most was why. Why do you want to lose weight or why do you want to this, that, and the other? And I, um, I had preeclampsia after having, I have an almost three year old now, and I had preeclampsia when I was pregnant with him and that caused me to have to, you know, go into labor early and so on and so forth, but it left me with high blood pressure and I didn't want to have to be on blood pressure medicine forever so i said i need to do something so i started going to the gym i used to go to planet fitness you know every now and then whatever but then it got to a point where it's like i don't like my body and it became beyond um blood pressure and i had another issue and i was taking steroids and still are taking steroids to keep an autoimmune condition under control and it caused me to kind of balloon and I had gotten up to 230 and I said no I can't I can't do this anymore it's not fair to my kids it's not fair to me this is not what I'm used to and this is not what I want to do so fast forward we go to this interest but well, I go to this interest meeting and it was cold and rainy and I was still like completely upbeat ready to go I go the next day the workout is tough as hell and I stick with it so um basically it's like tabata or like metcon style uh workout where you work um or high interval cardio for 40 seconds on 20 seconds off and there's you know stations you work as a big group some of our groups are like 10 people and some of them are like 60 people just depending on what day it is you work for 40 seconds and then you rest for 20 seconds but rest really means you know putting down what you're doing then and going to the next station 
Well, with the warm up and the um, 24 minutes of actual exercise plus your warm up and your cool down. If I went the first first 30 days, I did it for um, about five to six days a week, and then I missed one day. And coach was like, "What the hell? You missed a day?" You know, and I'm like, "Okay, I just missed a day." Like you're talking to somebody who would go to the gym like once a week. But from then on, I said, I'm never gonna miss a day. And I have been, and that was February 4th. I have been every single day and I go back for cardio. So I do two workout, well, do one workout a day and then one set of cardio a day. Every single day since February 4th and today is May the 4th. So for three months I have done and been to the gym every day, twice a day since February 4th. Um, it, it is really just my own level of discipline. I have incorporated it into my life. I work out at 5.30 in the morning and then I go back after work before I have to pick the kids up so it doesn't really impact them. When I first started, I was going in the morning or in the evening, just the one time a day, but it was very late in the afternoon, like six o'clock. And it was impacting like them getting home from school and eating dinner and it was a lot harder for them to wind down. So I had to figure out a way to be, um, aggressive with my workouts and not impact the kids as much. So I, like I said, I go in the morning and then I go in the evening before I pick them up. Um, if I have one takeaway from it all, it's just dedication and patience. Um, they have a saying, you know, come work hard, listen and trust the process. It, they have it all detailed for you. You just show up and you just work out. You work hard. You listen to the things that the coaches tell you. You go home. Uh, one major thing or the most major thing is nutrition. I am very, um, very strict and restrictive in how I coordinate my meal plan. I, there are plenty of foods that you can eat depending on what, um, what you're trying to achieve. And right now my main goal is to shed fat, like actual fat and build some muscle. Muscle is a secondary for me personally. And I have um, taken the meal plan that they have given me and over the course of the last 120 days, I've been able to fine tune it to where I can maximize what I'm taking in to maximize the results that I get. Um, I track everything that I eat, good or bad, on my fitness pal, and I'll leave my details down in the bottom so you guys can track with me. I'll leave my Twitter information. Obviously, you should already be following me on Twitter. I'm not gonna say that though, but. Uh, I have a thread on Twitter every single week. I post what I have accomplished that week, what all my numbers are, my skeletal muscle mass, my percent body fat, my scale weight, um, and my lean body mass. So there are um, you know, quite a few factors that go into a lifestyle change. And our gym name is a, a wall, a way of life. And it definitely is a way of life. Um, if, if I can tell you anything, the community, the people that I'm surrounded by, very like-minded, um, driven community is what kind of keeps me going. If I don't feel like going to the gym some days, I know that my friend Tasha's going to be my girl Tasha. She's my accountability partner. She started at 491 and she's down like 72 pounds right now. So we come in the morning at 530 also come back in the afternoon for cardio at 5 o'clock. She's gonna be there and she needs me to be there to yell at her. And I need, you know, to be there for her to yell at me. So we can get through our workout. And some days you, you know, you don't feel like going like it. We all know that we don't, I don't feel like going to the gym every day. But I go to the gym every day because I have a certain set of goals that I want to accomplish and I can't accomplish them unless I go to the gym every day. So, um, your community definitely makes a difference. Don't expect your friends to be all gung-ho about what you're doing because these are the same friends that you party with, these are the same friends that you study with, or whatever it is that you and your friends do. But if you have a goal in mind that is something different than outside of what you and your friends typically accomplish, you need new friends in that space. Not to say get rid of your old friends, but you definitely need people that are on the same wavelength with you as far as your weight loss is concerned people that are going to hold you accountable, people that are going to interact with you and make sure that you're doing what you need to be doing and that you can interact with and that you can hold accountable. And 
you know, make sure that that community is tight knit and nothing can change that. If you see somebody doesn't come to the gym, you text them, hey, you didn't come to the gym today. Or, you know, you're, that's not what we're supposed to be eating. Or, you know, it, it takes a village to raise anything, not just a child. It takes, it, it has definitely taken a village to, to raise me to what I, <laughs> to be less than, you know, down 40 pounds. And um, our coach always tells you, be responsible for the energy that you bring to the space. So you can't just be sucking up all the energy. You can't be the one that it needs all of the motivation. Sometimes you have to be the one to motivate, to cheer each other on, to set targets. Um, we've kind of gotten to a point where in our exercises, like you get 40 seconds and you get in what you, you, you get out of it what you put in. So if you go and you kind of half-ass that 40 seconds, you're gonna get half-ass results. But if you go and you do the max amount that your body can physically do in 40 seconds, and then take a break and keep going, you'll start to see your body change. You'll start to see your endurance change, your stamina change. Um, another thing that I have done is taken up running. We, um, it, it was the winter time when I started, so I started on treadmill and it hurt my knees a lot, but I had become accustomed to running. So the moment it warmed up, the moment we got some sun, I said, well, I'm gonna hit the, the streets. And I was not a runner, I'm not a runner. Well, I am now, but I wasn't a runner when I started, but I, I liked how my body felt when I ran, once my body and my breathing kind of got together. So now we started a running group at our, our gym to where every morning after our workout, we go running. We run a mile and some change, sometimes a mile and a half, right after our workout to kind of get our blood going, get our cardio going for the day. And then we go back and run about a mile and a half, two miles some days. And it has really, um, I've noticed the changes, even in my personality, I'm, I'm a lot more, um, less quick to react to certain things. Uh, my temper is a lot better. I've just uh, I seem to have a pace or I'm not like all over the place. Some days, you know, you get a hectic day and it's like, I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. And running has definitely become a uh, solitude for me, if you will, similar to how yoga is. But sometimes you just go by yourself, you pop in some earphones and you just run and, until you can't anymore <laughs> or until you get back to your car. Uh, what else do I do? Supplements. I take um, supplements. I get them from the gym. I have a link that I will post in the bottom of the description box because everything goes in the description box. But the supplements that I take are results and I get them from the gym. You can also order them online. Like I said, I'll put the link in the bottom. But the very first thing we started off with was detox. Uh, they'll tell you that, you know, in order to to accept all the nutrition that you're gonna be putting in for your body to operate at a certain level, you have to get all the old sludge out, just like an oil change. If you want optimal performance from your vehicle, you need to keep your oil change, your everything looped up, or you need to keep maintenance on your car. So your body is kind of no different than a car <laughs> for this particular example. But this is the ultimate detox cleanse, and I take two a day for 15 days, and this will keep you clean, I can promise you. <laughs> um, let's see what else. I also do the uh, multivitamin. It's called Vitalife. The Vitalife has probiotics, cell food, um, antibiotics, the vital nutrients that you would need um, to begin replacing the ones that you're taking out from detox and to make sure that your organs and your joints and all your cells are getting the food that they need to operate at such a high level because of the demand that you're gonna put on your body from the workouts. I also do the Omega Essentials. This is like an Omega-3 fatty acid um, fish oil. And it is, uh, it's pretty good. I like this one. It doesn't have a fishy burp taste. Some have a really gross taste to them and I don't really like that. And I also do the fat burner, the tightening fat burner. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this, I don't know what the science is behind it, but when I take it, I sweat a lot. <laughs> so so uh, keep that in mind if you start this. I only, I take it right before my workout. So when I'm all sweaty, like it doesn't matter. And last but not least, I do the Supreme Greens, which is like a superfood. It has spirulina, it has broccoli, and all the other good green stuff that your body needs. Um, it's like a superfood for your cells to replace and to nourish the cells as they grow and, and get healthier inside your body. And I use that with the protein powder. And I, um, 
make protein shakes out of it. I drink that in the morning before I go work out. And uh, this is a good time to move into meal prep. Now, I guess I could have talked about meal prep for majority of the video because majority of the results you're gonna get is based off of what you're putting into your body. I am extremely strict when it comes to my meal plan. I know what works for my body. I know what I can and can't eat. And I have gotten to the point where I have to eat in certain intervals in order to maximize the results that I get. So in the morning, I eat oatmeal and eggs, the still cut oatmeal, just plain with no seasoning in it. And then I do season my eggs. I use like everything seasoning. That's similar to like a everything bagel, <clears throat> but I use that to make my eggs. I will do one egg and three egg whites for breakfast and then green tea that replaced my coffee i was a coffee drinker and i needed something to replace that so i definitely drink in my fair share of caffeine still um but green tea is a lot, a lot healthier for you than coffee and creamer is um and then i'll eat four ounces of chicken for a snack and then for lunch like today for lunch i have fish uh for like four ounces of fish four ounces of broccoli and four ounces of sweet potato one thing to make sure of is that you weigh out all your food so you know how much food you're taking in so you can count your calories so you can count your macros um like i mentioned my fitness pal my fitness pal will count your macros for you and um calculate how much you're taking in and can tell you if you really pay attention um and to kind of learn how to use it to your advantage uh you can look to see if you're getting enough fat if you're getting enough protein if you're getting enough carbs um, you need protein to build muscle obviously you need carbs to provide energy i work out twice a day so i take in a good amount of carbs and then you need fat your body needs fat to lubricate your joints your body needs fat to run the right way so uh don't get caught up in like fat free this or fat free that because none of that shit is good for you um i eat all whole foods there are there is very little processed if anything that i eat um i think it's all though um you know fresh vegetables fresh food i guess if you want to call it clean eating that is the where i'm at right now a lot of my oils come from i do olive oil i cook my food in olive oil and then i eat nuts tree nuts not peanuts and um i eat two ounces of nuts a day because that is the fat that i need uh once you get into um tracking your food you'll start to understand what foods give you the better benefit just for your own body uh like for myself i try to stay away from anything with salt in it anything that um broccoli i don't really care for because it makes me bloated and I'm not trying to lose all this weight. I'm still being bloated. <laughs> so broccoli is something that I, um, I'm not going to say I stay away from because I eat it because it's good for me. But something I, I'm not quick to cook all the time. And then there are um, certain like habits that you have to create for yourself. I, like I said, I eat every three, three and a half hours for the time I get up to the time I go to bed. And I also take my food with me. So in the morning when I get up, I get up, I do make my breakfast. I have my oatmeal already made because it takes a while to make still cut oats. So I pre-make those and just put them in a plastic container, stick it in the fridge. I scoop out a half a cup every morning, but I make my eggs fresh. Um, you know, scramble them with my olive oil. But um, all the rest of my food, I already have pre-packed in my containers from when I meal prep. And I stick it in my lunchbox and I go. So when I leave the house every day, I leave the house with all the food I'm gonna eat. So my lunch and my two snacks. And then whatever water I'm gonna drink, uh, water is huge. Definitely drink, take your intake in water. They say take your weight and divide that number by half and that's how many ounces you should be taking. So if you're 200 pounds, you need to be drinking 100 ounces of water every day. Uh, let's see, what else? Be dedicated, uh, find something like if you, for me, I've been successful by shedding weight um, at, a, at a reasonable amount of time because I'm so restrictive. I have tried my best not to become complacent. Every week is a new week. Everything is something new. There's something different. There's a new goal every week. Um, I have had four or five goals since I started. I wanted to be able to do pull-ups, so that's what I'm working on now. So I can do about 15 push-ups all at once, and then I'll do like toe touches from the 
the bar, the overhead bar, and it has. It's changed my arms considerably from the time that I started. Uh, my whole body, I'll show you guys um, kind of what my body is like. I, um, I'm not going to show you guys my belly because I'm self-conscious, but this is where I'm at right now. Uh, after 40 some pounds of, of losing weight. So you can definitely change your body. and It's a lot more than spot changes. If you say, oh, I just want to lose my stomach. I just want to lose my thighs. It doesn't really work like that. <laughs> like I thought, oh, I'm going to, you know, slim down my midsection and that midsection didn't really budge <laughs> until all my booty was gone and until all my boobs was gone. And then some of the other things that I started to, um, notice changes like i said in my arms and my shoulders the way my arms feel right here is probably one of my favorite things it's like muscle right there where it just used to be fat like my armpit i have like an actual armpit now it's not it's not flat you know i don't have any back rolls so that's pretty cool so um yeah that's how i lost 43 pounds in 120 days uh, any questions you guys have, let me know. Are you on a journey to lose some weight? Are you trying to do something different or drastic with your body? Uh, post it in the comments. Share your stories with me. If you're on Twitter, uh, link your Twitter down below and I can follow your story. Or if you need encouragement, let me know. I'm all here for being a part of your community and being a positive energy in the space that we're in together. Be it YouTube, be it Twitter, be it Facebook or Instagram or anywhere if you need pep talk if you need motivation i'm here for you guys so um yeah again don't forget to share this video you never know who might need a kick in the butt or who might need to hear you know you can do it too because somebody is started out where i started out at somebody is going through the same thing that i'm going through there's some you know mom who just had a baby that doesn't feel so sure about herself and doesn't know where to start so share like i said share the video give me a thumbs up if you like the video leave me some comments below and i will talk to you guys later bye